Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Since the formation of aviation and the air forces, there has been a need to create stable areas for the takeoff and landing of aircraft, resulting in the runways that we know today. Although it may seem trivial, these routes are vital for aviation logistics and the safety of passengers and aircraft. That is why its conditions must be kept as optimal as possible and ensure that both civil operations and military missions function without any inconvenience. This has encouraged the creation of groups specialized in repairing and maintaining these roads. Such as the civil engineering squadrons responsible for carrying out rapid airfield damage repair procedures. This process also involves training exercises to teach new members how to follow the correct steps to repair the roads. As well as how to use heavy equipment, specialized tools and team coordination under challenging conditions. So out here we're demonstrating our rapid airfield damage repair capabilities. Uh, if our, our runway were to get hit with craters, Civil Engineering Squadron needs the capabilities to fix those craters to get the runway back up and going so we can launch planes and catch planes again. To successfully accomplish these repairs, specialized squads must rely on the use of tools and machinery that facilitate their activities. That is why using heavy equipment and advanced methods for runway reparations is critical to restoring the functionality of the airfields after getting damaged, particularly in military operations or just worn from passing time. If there is any type of debris, bulldozers and excavators are used to clear it from the runway. Dump trucks, graders, compactors, and loaders can be used to place and level materials. Fewer of those tools can be used for preventative maintenance, which focuses on saving time and money. Even so, New maintenance methodologies for these roads are being implemented for both preventative and reactive repairs. Capabilities like the so-called expedient and expeditionary airfield damage repair have been developed to reduce runway maintenance times and enable the ability to work in deployed or combat environments. This is done using smaller, more flexible teams equipped with portable systems instead of heavy machinery used on a permanent basis. These new methodologies have also been defined thanks to the new technologies created to improve the repair tasks of these airfields. An example of this is the research carried out by the U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center's Geotechnical and Structures Laboratory. This is being done to evaluate and test new materials during runway repairs and thus maintain the airfield operations during military contexts. One of the challenges these research centers encounter is the repair of camouflage. These are subsurface voids caused by subsurface explosions without surface penetration. The 
The risk of this condition is that it does not show any damage on the outside. So when an aircraft passes by or there is a vibration, the surface can collapse without warning. Therefore, camouflage repairs focus on backfilling and stabilizing subsurface voids rather than extensive surface reconstruction. For this, those research centers have explored materials like the controlled low strength material, also known as flowable fill, which is a mixture of Portland cement, water, aggregate, and sometimes fly ash. Thanks to its loose consistency, it can quickly fill those voids and be customized to match load requirements. Those materials under evaluation, like the CLSM, are tested to measure their structural performance under simulated aircraft loads using tools like a deflectometer. It's a very sophisticated machine that drops a weight on the pavement but takes very minute deflection measurements. And so we can see how the stiffness of the pavement changes over time before the repair, after the repair, and as the repair might degrade under traffic. Another innovative solution that has been studied by these laboratories is the polyurethane foam backfill technology, designed for rapid airfield damage repair. The idea is to dispense the foam directly into craters without requiring extensive surface preparation. Once applied, the polyurethane foam will expand to six times its original volume and set within 20 minutes, drastically reducing repair times. The laboratory has seen several advantages of this foam over other materials, including being a lightweight and compact component. Two 250-gallon containers of foam material weigh approximately 4,500 pounds and can replace 30,000 pounds of traditional soil backfill. Enough foam can be transported and stored on site to repair multiple craters efficiently. Once cured, the foam provides a solid foundation capable of supporting the heavy loads of military aircraft like the F-15 fighter. Its performance was tested by the ERDC in an aircraft traffic simulation using an F-15 which passed over the repaired runway 500 times. The study of these materials has encouraged the military forces to focus on developing their own solutions to achieve faster and more efficient reparation of these runways. A clear example of this is the KFIL, an innovative solution developed and patented by the Air Force Civil Engineer Center. Such material is similar in composition to cement and is designed to support rapid airfield damage repair. It uses a unique mixture of potassium silicate activator and locally sourced materials like sand, clay, or gravel, making it especially useful in areas where traditional construction materials are difficult to obtain or too costly to transport. Solutions like these demonstrate the advances that have emerged to improve the quality of repairs and reduce the time needed for these operations. Although having an optimal landing strip in good condition is essential for developing an effective military operation, there are cases where the locations prevent having a runway in good condition or even not having one at all.
Those operations are complex, especially with the challenging factors such as bad weather or rough terrain. This is why these missions are coordinated and executed by an Air Mobility Liaison Officer. His role is to provide a communication link between the ground forces and the airlift. An AMLO needs to work closely with the ground commanders so they can understand the logistics behind the troop movements and their operations. Equally, they know airlift capabilities and supply drops. That's why this position is usually filled by pilots and navigators who are trained in airlift movements. However, they got further training focused on the principles and guidelines of air mobility and radio communications. Thanks to their job, the effectiveness and efficiency of supply drops and ground forces movements are greatly improved. This work can get really demanding when conditions are harsh, such as in a desert area. Usually, the team in the Air Mobility Command does a recon of the terrain and assesses a potential landing site. To do this, the team uses several tools to check the terrain conditions and guarantee that the runway can accommodate big aircraft. With a probe called a soil penetrometer, the airmen can determine if the soil is stable enough to bear the load of the plane. Once the location has been established, the Special Operations Airmen mark the boundaries of the landing strip using visual markers such as cones, flags, or painted lines. This process is usually carried out using dirt bikes, considering that they must travel long distances quickly to place these marks. Similar processes are followed in other climatic and terrain conditions, as is the case of frozen areas with ice and snow, which occurs in the Arctic. In those cases, the aircraft are equipped with skis instead of traditional landing gear to facilitate landings. This equipment is attached to the plane wheels, which help distribute the weight over a larger surface area. Heavy cargo planes such as the C-17 can land even without using accessories such as skis. Well-prepared terrain conditions would act similar to a desert or arid place. The clear need for military forces to maintain airfields and landing strips in good condition has allowed the emergence of innovative solutions with great potential. As research centers create these new technologies, steps are being taken to reduce the risks a damaged runway can bring to aircraft and passengers. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.